हेलो एंड वेलकम टू स्टेट्स मिरर न्यूज कर्नाटका टूडेज हेडलाइंस बीजेपी प्रॉमिस फ्री गैस सिलेंडर्स हाफ लीटर मिल्क टू बी पी एल फैमिलीज द पार्टी विच इज स्कीन टू बीट द हिस्टोरिकल ट्रेंड ऑफ नो रूलिंग डिस्पेंसेशन गेटिंग री इलेक्टेड इन द लास्ट थर्टी एट ईयर्स हैज ऑल्सो प्रोमिस टू सेट अप अटल आहारा केंद्रास द मैनिफेस्टो टाइटल प्रजा प्रणाली के ऑफर्स वन नॉट थ्री पोल प्रोमिसेस BJP for implementation of uniform civil code in the state the BJP's manifesto for the Karnataka assembly elections released on Monday has tried to come out with promises that relate to its core ideological base prominent among them are implementing of the uniform civil code UCC in the state based on the recommendations by a high level committee which will be constituted if the party is voted to power The manifesto has promised to introduce a national register of citizens in Karnataka and ensure speedy deportation of all illegal immigrants in the state. It may be noted that the BJP leaders have been raising issues related to illegal immigrants repeatedly. In addition to this, the manifesto has also promised to create a special wing in the state police Karnataka state wing against religious fundamentalism and terror, K Swift. This is being waved as an effort to woo young party cadre in the context of some among them expressing anguish against the party's government last year in the wake of murders of party functionaries allegedly due to ideological conflict government setting the clock back by allowing 12 hour shift for factory workers kharge said AICC president M Mallikarjun Kharge on Monday alleged that both the BJP governments at the center and the state have been following anti-labor law by passing the legislation amending the Factories Act 1948 to allow for extending of working day up to 12 hours a day. HD Kumaraswamy says JDS is B team of Kannadigas and Gaura says no comments on Modi remark. A day after Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Jai Bon Janata Dal Secular as the B team of Congress former Chief Minister and JDS leader HD Kumaraswamy said that the JDS is the B team of Kannadigas Mr Modi calls us the B team and Sidramoya also calls us B team what can i say every day i speak about the people of Karnataka i am in the B team of Kannadigas what can i do about what is in their heads Mr Kumara Swami told press persons at Badami on Monday Additional police forces have been deployed in the Kopam Assembly constituency after clashes erupted between the ruling YSRCP and the opposition Telugu Desam Party TDP supporters in two villages over the organization of village festivals Superintendent of Police Tirupati P Parameshwar Reddy who is in charge of the Chittor district visited Kuppam town and surrounding areas on Sunday evening and appealed to the public to cooperate with the police to maintain law and order. The union government has instructed service providers to ban 14 applications in Jammu and Kashmir following recommendations by the Union Home Ministry and officials said Most of these apps are communication platforms that allow encrypted messaging which the government said were used by terror organizations in the region. Officials including those from the Jammu and Kashmir police had initially recommended that the popular messaging platform Snapchat be included among these banned apps. But the Home Ministry and the Electronics and Information Technology Ministry ultimately did not include it. The list of apps was determined after authorities examined phones used by detained operatives an official said The Bharatiya Janata Party which released its manifesto for the May 10 assembly elections has promised to implement the uniform civil code UCC apart from bringing in a national register of citizens NRC if voted to power The Supreme Court on Monday held that its extraordinary discretion under Article 142 of the Constitution can be used to do complete justice for couples trapped in bitter marriages by granting them divorce by mutual consent, sparing them the misery of waiting for 6 to 18 months for a local court to declare the annulment final. A multi-institutional study on dengue led by the Indian Institute of Science IISC shows how the virus causing the disease has evolved dramatically over the last few decades in the Indian subcontinent. 
Dengue is a mosquito-borne viral disease that has steadily increased in the last 50 years, predominantly in the Southeast Asian countries and there are four broad categories or serotypes of the dengue virus. Keep watching States Mirror News Karnataka.